Hey again, it's just me. Uh, after going through YouTube and looking, I see saw some footage with GoPros that uh, I was curious how they did it. So I got looking online, found out that the company GoSpin360 makes an adapter to mount your GoPro on your helmet and have a 360 view. Well, went to their website, found out that they offer do-it-yourself plans, how to do it. So I got all the parts and pieces here. Made one up, simply a tripod mount, selfie stick, a swivel caster, and some counterbalance weights. Well anyway, to attach the onto the helmet, most guys are either screwing it onto their helmets or two-way taping it. I wanted it a little bit more versatile, so I've decided that I'm going to machine up an adapter that will bolt onto this flange that will slide into a standard GoPro mount. Anyway, we are going to uh, make the little block out of aluminum. Okay, here's the clip I'd like to be able to attach onto the bottom of here. That being said, I'm going to have to make something with this fitting on it to slide into there so that I'll be able to slide the 360 mount onto a standard mount on top of a helmet or on top of whatever else I want to mount it on. So, essentially we're going to make a block that will have this tab hanging off the bottom of it to bolt into there. Here I'm putting the uh, clamp bolt in to the device to hold it down to the table and then there you saw me put the indicator in the drill chuck um, so I can indicate the vice straight and true zero zero across its entire face so that the parts I'm going to machine here are going to be square and true to each other. Here I'm installing the half inch collet holding the half inch two flute high speed steel end mill which I'll be using to edge and face the block. Uh, the end of the clip here, you can see me have a little malfunction with the handle. Nothing serious, just came unscrewed, put it back in, and we're still good to go. All right, we got the block and the vise. Uh, end mill in there installed, uh, adjusted the speed. Here you can see I then realized that I'd forgotten my safety glasses. So let's cut out, we'll go get a pan. All right, we got our pair of safety glasses now. Let's uh, fire the mill back up here, and we're going to start by bringing the block down to size um, one inch to the other you can see the end of the clip here once I've machined it I grab my calipers measure it up and see where I'm at for size okay a few more passes and we've got it machined down to the size we want you can see me measure it up ensure that I have the size I want then file it deburr everything and we're ready to go on to the next step all right, in this clip here, you can see me picking up edge finding and finding the exact center of the block uh, in preparation to mill down the excess on the other sides in order to give the 600 thou raised section in the middle that will go into the adapter that will slide into the quick mount GoPro.
Here you can see me changing the cutters out. I am now installing a radius cutter, which will round the top edges of the raised 600 thou piece in preparation so that I can drill and mount it into the other adapter. Here we got a close up of the radius cutter in action. Now we're swapping out the cutters for the 8 inch end mill in order to put the slot in the center of the raised section. Here you can see the passes in order to put the slot down the center. Now I have the drill chuck back in with an edge finder in order to pick up the center of that 600 thou raised section uh, to put the hole through it so that it will mount onto the GoPro mount. See me drilling the hole there. First I center drilled, now I drilled. And then you'll see me now put a chamfering tool in to break the sharp edges. All right, now you can see me putting the part back in to the vise, laying flat. Here I'm going to edge find, find center again, in order to put the four volt holes in it to mount it to the caster. Once I have center picked up, I poke four holes in with a center drill. Then I change over to a drill, a chamfer, and then I run the tap through. Here's a nice close up of the 1032 tap that I'm running through each of the holes. All right, here you can see me chamfering and cleaning up the holes. Um, the part here is pretty much done. Just needs a little bit of filing and we're done. And there you have it. There's the finished adapter to mount to the GoPro quick mount. Okay, here's the mount I've made mounted onto the caster with the 1032 socket head cap screws. Here I am sliding the GoPro quick mount on and bolting it on. Fits good, works great. I'd say that's a mission accomplished. Anyways, like it, share it, comment below.